guys and welcome to Petrolped. Now if you've been tuning into the channel recently you will probably know that I have done a couple of modifications to my John Cooper Works Clubman there aka Charlie and also a couple of minor things to the Roadster and I thought today we would just give a bit of an update as to how I think those modifications have gone. On the Clubman we put new wheels by OZ Racing and new Michelin Pilot Sport 4S tyres um, thanks to the guys at Lowen and many of you have reached out and said how is that going, what's it like to drive, what's the road noise like, what's the ride like, um, are you going to do anything else and then we also had a race Remus exhaust fitted by Motec and lots of you have asked about what it's like when you're driving, does it drone, what's the noise like, are you happy with it so this is the feedback video for that but there's a couple of little things I've done on the road as well so I thought it would be a little bit of a garage update just to let you know how things are getting on both cars have been cleaned this morning they are looking lovely I must admit I do love having those two minis in my garage it's very very special so I think we should start off with just talking about the Clubman um, then most importantly we're going to take the Clubman for a drive and talk about the wheels the tires and the exhaust when you're actually out and about driving but let's start off with the Clubman Now hopefully you've seen the video of me getting these beautiful OZ racing wheels and Michelin Pilot Sport 4 tyres fitted when I was up with the guys at Lowen. And I must admit I am absolutely delighted with them. I think they look beautiful, especially like now when they are all lovely and clean. A couple of things people have asked about. First things first, I'm actually going to be getting this, uh, the wheels and the car ceramic coated in a couple of weeks time. There will be a video dropping on the channel about that. But the main comment I've had from people is about this, the wheel arch gap. Um, and I thought it would be a good opportunity to address the wheel arch gap and whether I'm going to do anything about it. So yes, let's talk about the wheel arch gap. So it is probably a little bit bigger than I would like. And certainly when we were at Motec, I think that car could probably do with about a 25 mil drop. A mic from Motec was ready to pull the trigger. However, it's not quite that easy. So first things first, the tires we selected for the cars, 19 inch wheels, but it's got two, four, five, 30 profile tires. And actually Michelin do a 35 profile in the Pilot Sport 4S for that width and that, that um, uh, wheel size. And with hindsight, that might have been a better tyre choice. It would have given just a slightly bigger tyre wall and filled that arch gap just a little bit more. The way to fix the arch gap is to put the car on lowering springs or coilovers. And that would make the car look great, but I think this is a really interesting conversation because there is a balance between the car sitting properly and usability. Let me explain, because the Roadster is sat on coilovers. And it has a, I just think it just sits so beautifully. I mean, just look at that. It really does sit brilliantly. It's got a slight rake. It's 10 mil higher at the rear than at the front. And I think it looks fantastic. However, and there is a big however, the however is living with that car. It's so low at the front, sleeping policemen, any kind of car park entry where there's a bit of an angle is a real challenge and you end up grounding out the front splitter. And I don't really want that on the Clubman. And the thing you probably don't know, some of you will know that we've got a second home in Cornwall um, and we rent that out. And the guest parking space is a lovely off-road parking space, but we've got some private parking for us. And to access that parking, it's a very steep, typically Cornish, path and driveway and you have to back up and one of the reasons we bought the Clubman was because ideally you need to back up in a four-wheel drive car and the Audi although we could get it up there was just a little bit too big and used to ground the front nose out on the road and the Clubman doesn't 
But if I dropped it, even if I dropped it just maybe 15 mil to sort that arch gap out, it probably would foul on there. And that was one of the reasons we bought the car. And that's a big challenge for me. So I know everyone's saying, drop it, the arch gap's too big. I just can't because of the livability with, if you like, that livability with factor. So what I'm gonna do, I've got some ideas to try and, I don't think it's actually that bad. It just doesn't sit like a lowered car um, and doesn't have that, that stance. So I'm not gonna be dropping it on lowering springs, but I am gonna be doing something different, just something a little bit different. I'm not gonna say what it is yet because I'm still trying to work out how to do it. But I think you will, I think you will approve. So wheels wise, absolutely love them. Really pleased with the way they look. Um, and the only, the only thing that I think probably for some of you, and I know because I get lots of comments whenever I post a picture on Instagram or on YouTube, uh, I think some people will think that the, the stance isn't quite right. It just needs to drop. But as I've explained, I can't do that. So there's the wheels. But other than that, from an aesthetics point of view, I just think they look beautiful. Um, really pleased. I'm also really pleased with the way that they kind of, um, they fill the arches and, and sit out um, from an offset point of view coming out that way. So super pleased with the wheels. So the next thing we need to talk about is the exhaust. So that is the aesthetics of the wheels sorted. Now let's talk about the aesthetics of the new Remus race exhaust. And I have to say, it, I am so happy. There is literally nothing I don't like about what this exhaust looks like. It just, <laughs> those tips, I'm so pleased with the choice. They're so much bigger and meatier. I think the, the detailing on the top, this carbon fiber inlay here with the Remus um, uh, text on there, I just think they look fantastic. And if you come back a little bit, the car just looks meaner and more aggressive. And I'm so, so pleased with that. So certainly the tip choice, I've absolutely no regrets about that whatsoever, but arguably that exhaust is all about what it sounds like. But I've also, and it's only a minor mod because these are literally just bolt-ons, I've also changed the exhaust on Ruby Roadster. So I've got these uh, carbon fiber and chrome um, tips. They literally just screw on over the existing exhaust. Um, and I think that sets the rear of Ruby Roadster off beautifully. So I'm super chuffed with them, a very simple, a not particularly expensive modification. So yes, uh, I think we need to start the Clubman, go for a drive and I'll talk to you all about how that is exhaust sounds. And then we can also talk about what the ride quality is like with those super low profile tires. <laughs> First, we're going to talk about wheels and tyres and I will keep the exhaust in normal mode <laughs> so it shouldn't be making too much noise. Now the really interesting thing about the feel of the car after I've put these tyres on is my big concern with having such low profile tyres was that the ride quality and ride comfort would be quite badly compromised and I am happy to report and that, that really hasn't happened. Um, so overall, the, the ride quality doesn't feel a great deal different to me than it did before. Um, and certainly in terms of road noise, that doesn't seem to have been affected either. Um, the one thing I would say, however, is um, in terms of things like potholes or really nasty perfections in the road, if you hit a pothole, it is a little bit more of a crash than it would have been before. And I guess that's simply because there isn't so much sidewall in the tire to kind of absorb the shock of hitting a pothole. So I'm, I'm super careful about looking out for potholes and so on. The other thing I'm super careful about is curbs, obviously. And don't worry, Mrs. Petrobed has had a proper health and safety briefing about curbing these wheels. Um, so all in all, I'm really, really pleased with the ride quality and ride comfort. It hasn't really changed a great deal. Um, I'm going to cover performance when I've talked about the exhaust because I can do both of those at the same time. But the other question I have been asked quite a lot uh, since I've changed the wheels and tyres is did it affect my insurance? Now I guess the first thing to say is whenever you do any modifications to your car it is so important to make sure that you keep your insurance company properly informed of whatever you've done. Um, 
and I rang my insurance company and they didn't, um, I gave them the what I'd done, the wheels, the tyres, and it didn't affect my premium at all. But that's my specific insurance company. That doesn't mean it's necessarily gonna be the same case for you. So all I would say is whenever you make any modification, make sure that you contact your insurance company. But wheels and tyres didn't affect my policy with my insurer uh, at all. Now while we're mooching, it might be a good opportunity to talk about the exhaust because clearly a race exhaust or changing any kind of exhaust to a sports or performance exhaust, one of the big worries you have is drone or a kind of background annoying noise. And again, the really great thing about this exhaust system is it's valve actuated, so it has two mode settings. And in normal drive mode, or in green as well, it's the same. Um, the, the exhaust is, is far deeper and, and has a far more menacing tone to it, but it's not over the top at all. And it doesn't drone either. And that, you know, so when, you, when you're just mooching around, one of the things I have noticed is at cold start, now sadly the car had been used by the time I started this video today, but at cold start, um, it sounds fantastic. It kind of starts up and then it goes into a slightly higher rev just while the, um, that, that kind of cold start procedure, and it sounds fantastic. I'm sure the neighbors probably think that, but it does sound brilliant at cold start or at tick over. And then when you're driving around in normal mode, all is good, no drone, it's not that dramatic. It sounds probably equivalent to what the sport setting used to in the factory exhaust. Everything happens, however, when you go into sport mode. We just so happen to be going up one of my favorite bits of road. I'm actually on my way to the shop, so I'm going to Majestic to buy some wine, and I thought I'd film on the way. So uh, what we need to do is stick the car into sport mode, now, I don't know how easy it is going to be to get over Watch the... Watch out, pothole on road ahead. Ah, you see, there we go. Waze is telling me there's a pothole ahead. Thank you very much, Waze. Very useful. So, uh, let me go into manual box. Little pop there, and... Now, inside, there's the pothole. Thank you, Waze. Inside the cabin, the noise is just, it's just more apparent. It's there and it, it just sounds brilliant. It doesn't have um, pops and bangs. I haven't changed the map. I haven't done anything to the engine settings. So it's just what, what the standard engine is, but the overall tone is just so much deeper and throatier and nicer. And See, there's not really pops and bangs. <laughs> it just sounds so much more purposeful, but the real noise and the real drama for this exhaust happens on the outside of the car. It's what it sounds like outside. It's just fantastic. I don't know whether I'm gonna be able to pick it up with the window down, but. So pleased with it it's not in your face it's not obnoxious it just sounds like this car should have done from factory um, and you know if you think about the JCW Pro exhaust that, that Mini did for a little while and then it was basically made illegal um, that that is probably the best exhaust they've ever done OEM and it sounded phenomenal uh, Bluetooth activated, but this is this is just what I wanted. It's not obnoxious, but it sounds lovely. And oh, there we go. You do get a crack and a pop, and then it's just fantastic. So now, now we're moving. Now let's talk about these wheels and tires because aesthetically they look fantastic. We've addressed the wheel arch gap problem but it's when you get driving that you really notice the slightly wider wheel, so they're eight and a half inches wide compared to the eight inch standard wheels on this car, and the, the tires, the Michelin Pilot Sport 4S tires, I think are one of the best road focused but track capable tires you can buy. I love them. Uh, I'd only driven a couple of press cars with them. I've got Pilot Sport 4 tires on the Mini, massively impressed with them. 
but it's just changed the characteristics of the car so much. It's got so much more traction. And when you, when you are able to chuck it around a little bit, it's just, it's on the exit to the corner I notice it most. It just digs in and, and you've got so much more traction and, and you end up really, really crunching the miles. The pace goes up in your driving. And it's all about the, the it's all about that extra grip and that extra stability. The interesting thing is I haven't got the performance gain of, of the wheels being lighter. I can feel the wheel is is a little bit only a little bit heavier. But it's not something that detracts from the driving experience. It's just great. And I love this car. I really love this car. It's so practical. But when you really want to crack on and you put it in sport mode, now it's got this Remus exhaust. It just sounds wicked. I just love this car. So yeah, overall then, uh, I am super pleased with both of the modifications. The wheels, I am so pleased with the way they look. Um, and I do have some ideas about just uh, something different. Lots of people drop their cars, have hardly any wheel arch gap. It's a very common thing. I've got, I've got an idea and I just need to see if I can make it work, but I think you'll approve. Um, and I'm so pleased with the exhaust. There is literally not an ounce of regret in my soul about the exhaust. Um, again, just in terms of things like warranty, it's always a debatable thing about warranty and when you start modifying cars. For me, the main thing is if you are fundamentally doing something to the engine, changing a map, changing the performance of the engine, I think that's when manufacturers start to get more and more upset. Uh, all the exhaust really is a different pipe from the OPF filter back. I've not changed the emissions, I've not changed the, uh, anything to do with that. So I'm, I'm fairly confident in in the, the fact that it's not going to have affected my warranty. Um, but you need to bear these things in mind when you are uh, modifying cars. But anyway, I'd love to know what you think. Um, I know you will always tell me what you think about modifications. I've had some classic comments about both the wheels and the exhausts from people, but oh, um, <laughs> always expected. I know they're not for everybody. I really do know that wheel choice is a very, very personal thing. Uh, exhaust, um, you know, ultimately they're expensive things, but I cannot tell you how pleased I am with the noise that the exhaust now produces. It's not in your face. It's not, it's not nearly as ridiculous as the Roadster with my map and the Grapovich 100 cell cap. That, that exhaust is so obnoxious that that is not what I wanted for this car. I wanted this car to just sound deeper and throatier and more menacing and arguably how it should have done from factory had we not been living in a time when we all want to save polar bears. Um, but anyway, guys, uh, I'll draw this video to a close. Hope you've enjoyed it. Um, if you have done so, please give me a thumbs up. Comments below are always welcome. And if you haven't done so already, please subscribe to Petra Bench for plenty more content to come. But now I'm going to be heading off to Majestic. Absolutely shameless plug. I shall be wearing my new petrol ped mask. Uh, available from Control and Shift. I shall put the details below, as is all of my merch. But yeah, I thought, you know, uh, I thought these were a bit good. You know, I, I was wearing the whole, the horrible surgical masks and I thought, this is so boring. So yeah, we thought we'd do a range of masks. So head over to controllandshift.com, look under collections, you'll find Petrol Ped, a whole range of merch there. And you can pick one of those up, they're only a tenner. Uh, and, uh, you know, put some brand awareness out there when you are in your shops protecting yourself from COVID. <laughs> but anyway, I'll see you on the next film, guys. I'm gonna now do my favorite thing in the whole wide world, and that is go to Majestic and do some wine shopping. <laughs> um, I'll see you on the next film, guys. You take care. Drive safe.